Hello everyone, welcome back to the Top 10 Most Awesome Channel. We all know that today science has made a lot of progress that can explain almost everything that comes in front of our eyes. But this almost leaves us curious. Yes, we got a lot of creepy, cursed items to talk about today. This is the top 10 cursed items that scientists fear. Make sure you know all of them and try to find the answers. Let's get into it. Number 10, the Hope Diamond. Believed to have come to the surface 1.1 billion years ago, this gem is estimated to be worth 200 to 250 million dollars. It has traveled the world, but now resides in the Smithsonian Natural History Museum, and some believe it is cursed, with a whole mythology claiming that great misfortune and misery will befall any who dares to wear the 45.52 carat diamond. Rumored victims of the diamond have suffered disgrace, divorce, suicide, imprisonment, torture, financial ruin, lynching, and decapitation. One was even said to have been ripped apart by dogs, and another by a French mob. However, skeptics say this curse was a ploy to enhance the Hope Diamond's mystique and value. Number 9. The Busby Stoop Chair English drunkard Thomas Busby sealed his fate when he murdered his father-in-law, Daniel Oddie, in 1702. For his crimes, he was executed by hanging at the crossroads near a humble inn. But the story goes that this was not the end of Busby's killing. A chair that looked on the site of his execution is believed to carry a curse. Whoever sits upon it supposedly died from a frightful accident. Still, the chair lingered in the end until 1978 when the owner gifted it to the Thirsk Museum where it now resides high on a wall where no one need fear an accidental sitting. Number 8. The Crying Boy Painting Another curse out of England comes from this popular 1950s reproduction of Bruno Amadeo's The Crying Boy Painting. The superstition goes that the picture of this mournful child caused fires. Its source was an article in the tabloid The Sun from September 4, 1985. A couple's house burned down, but the fire didn't burn the crying boy. A local firefighter then noted that there were other fires that left only an undamaged crying boy painting. Number 7. The Hands Resist Him Painting Another tale of cursed art surrounds this painting of a young boy and a female doll standing before a window. Painted by California artist Bill Stoneham in 1972, The Hands Resist Him belonged to actor John Marley before ending up on eBay in 2000 with claims it was cursed. The anonymous sellers said it was found abandoned behind an old brewery. Soon after taking it home, their young daughter claimed the figures in the painting moved at night and even stepped out of their frame to cause chaos in the home. They posted photos as proof. As may be the case with the Hope Diamond, the cursed story drove up the bid to $1,025. Curious to know what comes ahead? Well, first click the subscribe button and then plus share the video as much as you can to see more such amazing stuff every time we post, just hit that bell icon. Moving forward to number six, the Terracotta Army. China photos and Getty images. In 1974, seven peasant farmers in China were digging a well for their village when they accidentally uncovered the 2,200-year-old Terracotta Army, an astonishingly detailed series of 8,000 sculptures that had been long buried as part of a grand tomb. The find has been a great one for China, bringing academics and busloads of tourists. But those who found it gained only misery. The Chinese government claimed their lands and destroyed their homes to properly unearth this army, financially ruining not just these men, but most of their village. Painful deaths followed for three of the seven because as one of the survivors points out, they could not afford health care. Some have blamed government colossness for these men's fates. Number five, Tut's Tomb. Perhaps the most famous curse of all is the tomb of Tutankhamun, the burial place of a 19-year-old pharaoh. All who enter, be they bandit or archaeologist, are said to be struck with bad luck, illness, or death because of the curse of the pharaohs. Belief in this curse 
predated the 1922 Howard Center expedition to find Tut's tomb, but his discovery unleashed new life for this legend. The first to die was a canary that was rumored to have led Carter to the tomb's hidden location. Some say it was eaten by a cobra, a symbol of Egyptian royalty, while others insist it wasn't even killed, but rather given to a friend. Soon thereafter, Carter's financial backer, Lord Carvanon, died when a mosquito bit him and he became infected. 20 more deaths of people would get blamed on the curse by 1935. Still, skeptics suggest coincidence or a deadly fungus from the tomb are to blame. Number 4. Iceman Another mummy believed to carry a terrible curse is Otsi, also known as the Iceman. Discovered in September of 1991 in the Otsal Alps in Italy, Otsi is a mummy of a man who is believed to have lived around 3300 BCE. A glacier surrounded him after he died of exposure and preserved his body. But once unearthed, rumors of a curse surfaced too and grew stronger as people linked to him began to die often in violent accidents. All told, seven deaths have been tied to Otzi's uprooting, including forensic pathologist Rainer Henn, who was killed in a car accident en route to give a speech about the Iceman, mountaineer Kurt Frentz, who died in an avalanche, and hiker Helmut Simon, who discovered the Iceman on a hike with his wife and later died after falling off a treacherous path. Number three, James Dean's Little Bastard. Little Bastard was what Dean called his silver Porsche 550 Spider, the car he died in following an accident in 1955. After that, the vehicle was purchased by hot rod designer George Barris, who planned to sell it for parts. The curse narrative was born when the car fell and crushed a mechanic's legs. As part of the cars were sold, the curse is said to have spread. The doctor who bought the engine was killed in a car accident. Another victim who bought the transmission was severely injured in a crash. The tires sold from Little Bastard blew out simultaneously, sending their buyer to the hospital. While the shell of the car was being transported, the truck carrying it crashed and the driver was killed. From there, the shell was stolen and the curse of Little Bastard went quiet as its location became unknown. Number two, the phone number 359-888-888-888. You might think a cursed phone number sounds like a plot to an uninspired horror flick, but anyone who had the number listed above since its first issue in the early 2000s has died. That includes the CEO of a Bulgarian mobile phone company who died of cancer at 48, as well as two crooks, one a mafia boss and the other a cocaine dealing estate agent both of whom were gunned down. All three died within four years of one another. Since then, the telephone number has been suspended and the company that owns it refuses to comment as to why. Whoa, things are still so spooky yet, but the number one in this list is the most popular, and that is the Bassano Vase. Legend has it that this silver vase, made in the 15th century, was given to a bride on the eve of her wedding near Napoli, Italy. Sadly, she never made it to the altar as she was murdered that very night with the vase in her hands. From there, it was passed down her family line, but anyone who took possession of it is said to have perished soon thereafter. After untold deaths, the family boxed the vase away. It resurfaced in 1988 with the note that is said to have read, Beware, this vase brings death. However, when the Bassano vase was auctioned off for about $2,250, the note had been excluded from the item's description. The pharmacist who bought it died within three months. Three more deaths of new owners followed until finally the curse seemed to go dormant when a desperate family demanded the police take it away. It has not been seen since. How do you like our picks? Tell us in the comment box below. If you want to watch more such videos, check out the other clips for the top 10 most awesome channels and have fun. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next one.